Listen to the word very carefully tonight. It's, there's nothing new. You might have heard all these scriptures before, but I want you to pay attention. The Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 14, that there was a certain man at Lystra, verse 8, impotent in his feet, being a cripple from his mother's womb, who, had, who never had walked. Mark those words. Here is a cripple from his mother's womb. He was impotent in his feet. And he never walked. Can you look at can you can you observe that how impossible that situation appears? But no matter what the situation is, when it is exposed to the gospel. All possibilities open up. Impossibilities are turned into possibilities. Say Amen. Amen. So what happens? Watch. The same heard Paul speak. Who steadfastly beholding him, perceiving that he had faith to be healed, said with a loud voice, Stand upright on thy feet, and he leaped and walked. Now, there was a miracle that happened. But I want you to observe how it happened. If you're a casual reader, you will think Paul performed a miracle. Paul did not perform a miracle. Paul released the power for the miracle to manifest. Now go back to verse 9. The same heard Paul speak. The same heard Paul speak. What did this man hear? Anybody? The gospel. The gospel. The gospel is the power of God unto salvation. Romans chapter 1 verse 16 and 17. Paul is the same. This same Paul is saying, this is the power of God unto salvation. And salvation is a word that includes healing. So when Paul communicated the message, he communicated in such a way that faith was birthed in someone's heart to whom there was an impossible situation. See, that man came to listen to Paul. And he was facing a situation that everybody was facing a situation that everybody had written off. But I want you to observe the power of the word. Jesus said, my words are life and spirit. So the word can give life to that which is dead. The word can give life encouragement to the discouraged. The word can create possibilities where there are no possibilities. So although he had an impossible situation that he was facing, when he heard Paul, something happened. Faith began to get ignited. Because the Bible says in Romans 10, 17, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Now you're, see, it's talking about hearing with intention, not casual. That means, what, the, what is the difference? Casual listeners are listening to the content. Intentional listeners are listening to God's word that will impact their life. See, when you we are keenly listening to God's word, as it is being proclaimed and preached, there will be something that will grab your attention, that will inspire you, that will ignite something in you. If that is not happening, we have to examine our own hearts and the, and the attitude with which we are listening to the word of God. 
హృదయాన్ని పరిశీలన చేసుకొని ఏ రకమైన వైఖరితో దేవుని వాక్యం వింటున్నాము చూసుకోవాలి many of us మనలో అనేక మంది who keep listening to the word వాక్యం వింటూ ఉంటాము almost all always అన్ని రకాలుగా వింటుంటాము but there is no fruit to show forth the power of god in our lives కాని మన జీవితంలో దేవుని శక్తిని చూపించడానికి ఫలితం అనేది ఏది చూపలేము that means we are not intentional in listening to the word of god అంటే దేవుని వాక్యం వినడంలో ఉద్దేశపూర్వకంగా వినలేదు we have to listen with intention to grab what the spirit of god is saying దేవుని ఆత్మ ఏం చెప్తున్నాడో తెలుసుకోవాలని ఉద్దేశంతో వినాలి as he spoke aina maatladinappudu something was ignited tana lopra edo ragilinchabaddadi and what was ignited was now being expressed in a in a manner in a with a kind of a body language that paul could pick up edaithe veliginchabaddado adi paul grahinchagaligirabadi sthitilo vyaktinkarinchabaddadi are you able to understand what i'm saying cheppe artham avutundandi so this man there was probably his face was beaming ee vyakti oka mukham prakashisthunnadu there was excitement wo aasakti undadu paul knew that the word had impacted his life paul telisina thana vakyam thana jeevitham pravahitam chesindadu and so paul now releases it paul thana vidudala chestunnadu speaking for the word and a miracle happened they will vakyam vidudala chesadu adbhutam jarigindi so tonight as you listen to the word ee raatri meer devuni vakyam vintunnaga i will lay foundation nenu punadini vesthanu precept upon precept oka mettu tarvata maru mettu so your faith is ignited me vishwasam veliginchabadu what is faith i'm not going to go into a deep definition nenu nirvachana theliki cheyagalani just just to make you understand meek artham cheyadan cheptunna faith is a conviction vishwasam anedi oppimpu faith is a persuasion vishwasam anedi grahimpu that means i am totally convinced ante nenu rudiga nammuchunanu this man was so convinced ee vyakti entagaano oppimpabadadu the impotent man oka nirasha that had never walked yenadu nalavani vyakti from the time he was born tanu puttinadi modalukoni he was so convinced by the word vakyam dwara enta oppipadadanti paul cheppinappudu rise up and walk lechi nadu managa it was not like peter peter laga kaadu who took the man at the gate called beautiful aka sundara mundi devana anta gate pattukoni tanu pattukuna adu cheppadu peter was helping the man ikkada peter avithe sahayam padtunadu in this instance tanu ee sandarbhamlo nobody was helping him evaru tanu sahayam cheyaledu the word that so powerfully worked in him vakyam tanu jeevithamlo shakthavanga pani chesindi gamaninchandi when peter began to manifest a miracle పేతర్ అద్భుతం కార్యం చేసినప్పుడు ప్రీచ్ ది వర్డ్ వాక్యం బోధించలేదు ఆర్ యు విత్ మీ వింటున్నారాండి కమ్ ఆన్ ఆమెన్ ఆమెన్ దట్స్ వై హి హడ్ టు హెల్ప్ హిమ్ అందుకోసం సహాయం చేసింది ఇన్ దిస్ ఇన్స్టెన్స్ కానీ ఈ సందర్భంలో పాల్ ప్రీచ్ ది వర్డ్ వాక్యం బోధించాడు పౌలు హల్లెలూయా హల్లెలూయా ద వర్డ్ ఇన్స్పైర్డ్ వాక్యం ప్రేరేపింప చేసింది ఎనర్జైజ్ బలవర్చింది గేవ్ లైఫ్ టు విచ్ దట్ విత్ దట్ విచ్ డిడ్ నాట్ హావ్ లైఫ్ జీవం లేని దానికి జీవం ఇచ్చింది దీస్ లిమ్స్ వర్ dead aina kaalu pani chestunnayi there was no strength in them danlo balame ledu the, the power of the word kaani vakya shakti energize that part aa ikka baadan shakti ichindi said, paul annadu stand up and walk lechi nadu managa he jumped and leaped is what the bible says lechi gantu ledam prarambhinchadu vakyam ledu that means as you listen to the word and, tonight ante ee raatri vakyam vintunna meeru you must be convinced meeru oppimpabadali you must be persuaded meeru rudiga nammali and this persuasion is not just in the head kevalam manasu kaadu you are persuaded you know heart meeru hrudayam rudiga nammali ante even if there's no evidence in the natural sahajamuga ruju em lekapoyina you're not going to accept it meer dan angikarinchu you know that you know that you know that you know meeku telusu telusu kachithamga telusu anchapali hallelujah hallelujah why Because, see persuasion is knowing that you know that you know that you know rudiga nammadam ante naaku telusu telusu kachithamga telusu anchapadam even if there is no evidence on the, in the natural realm sahajamaina lokamlo ye ruju lekapoyina padi kuda somebody say amen amen so i want you to get this tonight meer ee raatri artham cheskovali idi that it is god's will for you to be healed meer swasthalam badaram devu ni chupam entunadi you are suffering with whatever that is for the last 30 years that the mupa samsara ga meer denito baadha padtunadi 18 years 12 samsara kavachu or maybe 12 years 12 samsara kavachu and we we see such records in the bible bible grandam matram sandarbhalu chustaru the blood was for 12 years 12 samsara ratha so women with the who's who was bowed down for 18 years 12 samsara nanu ogi pani sthi unnadi amen so so we see all these different issues that have long lasting sickness ento dirghakala anarogyam anedondi manam chustunam vakyamlo just because some but has been under the oppression for a long time evaro okari ento kaalam pidana kinda unnada maatra mean that god doesn't want them to be healed aa vyakti swastha pandha kodana devudu korukunnaru kaadu they are trapped into something edo oka dani uchchulo untunnaru so they live in darkness vaaru chikarlo jeevisthunnaru in that realm aa lokamlo not that they're not godly vaaru aa daivikamaina vyakti kaadu kaadu very godly vaaru daivikamaina vyakti they're very spiritual vaaru atma samayam ledhi but in this area kaani ee bhagam the light has not been shown veluthuru prakashinchinadu so they're still struggling vaaru inka kashtapadutunnaru but tonight kaani ee raatri that struggle is coming to an end mugim pogostunadi i said that not the tonight ee ratri that struggle is coming to an end mugim pogostunadi say amen amen you are not going out with the same sickness that you walked in tonight ee ratri ye anarogyam tho vacharadu danto bayitiki velatledu meeru hallelujah amen i said hallelujah hallelujah i said hallelujah hallelujah come on say i am walking out completely healed delivered 
and set free in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Come hallelujah. On. Glory be to God. Uh, do you believe that? Now uh, break out in tongues for a couple of moments. Come on. Come on. You are taking delivery. You are believing God's word. Come on. Every work of the devil has to cease. Every work of the devil has to be crushed. Every stronghold of the devil has to be broken over your life. The anointing breaks the yoke. So tonight, that yoke is being broken upon your bodies. That tonight, that yoke is being broken upon your lives. Come on, pray, pray from the depths of your heart. Come on, louder from the depths. Come on, convince the devil that you are going out healed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. First of all, be convinced that God wants you to be healed. Many times we feel like it may not be God's will for me to be healed. But we know in the scripture, God makes it very clear that it is God's will for you to be healed. In the book of Matthew chapter 8, there was this guy who was coming, coming to Jesus as he was coming down the mountain. And the Bible says in chapter 8 verse 2, there came a leper and worshipped him saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. What is he, what's he saying? Lord, if you will, then you can make me whole. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. He has no doubt about the power that God had to heal him or Jesus had to heal him. But he was doubtful whether Jesus would do it. But this clarifies everything. Because the next verse says, Jesus put forth his hand and touched him saying, I will be thou clean. Somebody say Amen. God says, it is my will to heal you. It is my will to heal you. The book of Acts chapter 10 verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all how many? I said, how many? All that were oppressed of the devil. Sickness is an oppression. Disease is an oppression. Addiction is an oppression. Jesus is here to set you free from that. Do you believe that God is the same yesterday, today and forever? If Jesus did it then, will he do it tonight? If Jesus did it for that leper, will he do it for you? Come on, if you really believe it, shout yes. It is God's will for you to be healed. Matthew chapter 12 verse 15 says, Great multitudes followed him and he healed them all. There are, there are many scriptures that keep telling us that Jesus healed them all. I just picked one of them and it says this in 12.15. Great multitudes followed him and he healed them all. Now the scripture that we all know, 3 John chapter, uh, chapter 1 verse 2, Beloved, I wish above all that thou mayest, be, thou mayest prosper and be in health. God wants you to be healthy. Come on. God, I said God wants you to be healthy. Amen. Now somebody was telling me this afternoon that there's gastroenteritis going around in the city. It has no business to come to me or to you. Now, when you hear that news, the first thing that everybody says, be careful with the water, be careful where you eat, be careful with the food and all that. And I don't disagree with that. But the first reaction should be the scripture. No evil shall befall me. Neither shall any plague come nigh 
my dwelling. No weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. Now, release that word. Speak the word. And let that become a fence around you. Plead the blood of Jesus. Now, do whatever you want to do. Don't be silly. Go drinking all kinds of water. But even if you did drink deadly stuff. Unknowingly, it cannot hurt you. Somebody say Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, so no matter what is happening, don't accept it. Well, everybody has it, so there is not. It's not uncommon for me to have it. Everybody may have it, but you're not permitted to have it. You're not everybody. You are a child of God. Bought with the blood of Jesus. You're covered under the blood. And you're a special people unto God, a Devani, royal priesthood. Somebody say Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah to ha Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. God wants you to prosper and be in hell. Right? So we establish the fact the truth that it is God's will to, for you to be healed. So say this with me. It is God's will, it is God's will for me to be healed. Now name the sickness you want to be healed of. Tell yourself. Whether it's arthritis, say arthritis, or say it's high blood pressure, or high blood sugar levels, or whatever. Okay, let's do it again. It is God's will for me to be healed. Fill the blanks. Now pray in tongues. Come on. Lembro clon de shita kasua lebo rikata masionda bra ha ha ha. Lord, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Lord, for it is your will for us to be made whole. It is your will for us to be healed. We receive our healing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Say amen. amen. Now, the second thing I want to tell you is healing is our inheritance. <laughs> God has given an inheritance package to the saints. And healing is part of that inheritance. The inheritance is something that you receive without labor and without sweat. By virtue of being born into a certain family, you become an inheritor of what the family now gives to you, your father, your mother. Now, Jesus paid the price so that we don't have to pay it again. So, let's go to some of the common scriptures, but let light shine in your heart. Don't say, I know it, but listen carefully. Isaiah 53, verse 3. He is despised and rejected of men, a man, a man of sorrows, acquainted with grief, and we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Now, he is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows. The word sorrows there is the word which means pain and punishment. Okay, he was a man of pain and punishment, acquainted with grief. The word grief there is the word that implies sickness, weakness, and distress. Now, what am I trying to show you? I'm trying to tell you from the word that all these were heaped upon Jesus. Sickness, weakness, distress, pain, and punishment. Verse 4. He had borne our griefs. That means he carried all the grief, which is sickness, weakness, and distress. And carried our sorrows, pain, and punishment. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. We thought it was for him. But verse 5 says, But he was wounded. He was wounded for 
our transgression mana atikramamulanu batti he was bruised i nalukottapadadu our iniquities mana veka nalukottu mandoshamulanu batti the chastisement of our peace was upon him mana samadhana kartamaina shiksha ayana meedu mokkapadadi and with his stripes we are healed ayana ponnen debbalu cheda manaku swastha kaluguchunnadi look here this is the substitutionary lamb ikkada ma pratiga unchabadinatundi gorra pilla hallelujah hallelujah somebody already paid the price evaru okari idi varike vela chellincharu can you read the word that uh, I, i mentioned pain nopi ani baadha padam chesthe if there is anyone with any kind of pain in their body ye rakamaina nopi mee sharirama baadha padutunna you are walking this place pain free ee pradesham nunchi nopi lekuna badikala potunnaru when jesus took that pain yesu aa nopini barichinaru you are not supposed to carry it anymore meeri ikke maatram kaligi undakkudadu if he has taken my weakness aina balahinudu i cannot be weak nenu balahinuduga undaledu the lord is the strength of my life devude naa jeevithaniki balamu of whom shall i be afraid yevanni chusi bare bai padadunu hallelujah hallelujah i said hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Devuni mahimagalanu gaaka. You know, we receive our strength because he took our weakness. Aina mana balahinathalu teeskunnadu kaabatti balanni pondukuntamu. He took our sickness, he took our distress. Mana balahinathalu mana ikka vyadhini mana anarogyam teeskunnadu nirashanu gurunu ponnara. Are you despondent? Meeru nindi nirasthulu ponnara. Are you depressed? Nirasthulu ponnara. You don't have to be. Meeru unda avasaram ledhu. The devil is trying to make you pay for which Jesus has already paid. Yes, idu varike chellinchinaaniki meeru vela chellinchaa na paadi korchunadu. He is cheating us. Manni mosagistunadu vaadu. So I want to bring to light tonight. Ee raatri velugulu prakashinpu cheyalanu korutunaru. Somebody has loved us so much that he made the payment for us. Manni entha gaano preminchina oka vyakti idu varike vela chellinchesadu. So when we are when we say we are saved, manam rakshana pundamu cheptunappudu. It applies both to the spirit and to the body. Aatmaku shariraaniki vartisthunnadi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By his stripes. Aina debbala cheta. By his stripes. Aina debbala We are here. Mana mu swastata nundi timi. Can you do you notice that it's in the present tense? Ali prasthatam unchina mata di. Somebody shout I am healed. I am healed. Three times. I am healed. I am healed. I am healed. Now listen. Vinandi. Even if the pain persists. Inka nupi unna kuda. The truth is you're healed. Satyam enadi mi swasthatam unnaru. Even if the symptoms persist. Inka suchanalu unna. The truth is you're healed. Satyam enadi mi swasthatam unnaru. That's what the Bible is telling us. Adi Bible manalu telichestundi. Our faith what we believe should be the anchor the word should be the anchor for us manaku vishwasinche daniki vakyame aadharam ga undali i'm going to read this entire uh, passage okay verse 10 let me read verse 10 pada vachanam chudam isaiah 53 10 yeshe 53 yet it pleased the lord to bruise him and he had put him to grief and he shall that thou shall make his soul an offering for sin అతను నలగొట్టుకును యెహోవాకు ఇష్టమైను ఆయన తన అతని వ్యాధి కలుగు చేసెను అతడు తను తాని అపహారార్త బలిగా అతనికి సంతానం చూసెను ఇట్ ప్లీజ్ ద లార్డ్ టు బ్రూస్ హిమ్ అతని బాధించడము యెహోవాకు ఇష్టమైను హి పుట్ హిమ్ టు గ్రీఫ్ అతనికి వ్యాధి కలుగు చేసెను దట్ వర్డ్ గ్రీఫ్ ఐక బాధ అనేది ఇన్ ద లిటరల్ హీబ్రూ హీబ్రూ భాషలో చూస్తే ఇస్ హి హత్ మేడ్ హిమ్ సిక్ ఐన అనారోగ్యంతో చేసి ఉన్నాడని గాడ్ మేడ్ జీసస్ సిక్ యేసును అనారోగ్యమైన వ్యక్తిగా మార్చాడు యు డోంట్ హావ్ టు బి సిక్ మీరు అనారోగ్యం ఉండాల్సిన అవసరం లేకుండా ఓ హల్లెలూయా ఐ ప్రే ఫాదర్ దట్ దిస్ రెవల్యూషన్ విల్ హిట్ ఎవరీ వన్స్ హార్ట్ టునైట్ ఎస్పెషల్లీ దోస్ దట్ ఆర్ సిక్ ఐ ప్రే లార్డ్ ఓపెన్ ది ఐస్ ఆఫ్ आवर అండర్‌స్టాండింగ్ టు గ్రాస్ప్ అండ్ గ్రాబ్ దిస్ ట్రూత్ లెట్ ఇట్ నాట్ బి సంథింగ్ దట్ ఓన్లీ आवर హెడ్ రిజిస్టర్స్ బట్ आवर స్పిరిట్స్ విల్ క్యాప్చర్ దిస్ ట్రూత్ అండ్ ది లైట్ విల్ షైన్ త్రూ आवर స్పిరిట్స్ into our soul and into our body so we reject every form of sickness in our bodies to glorify god through our bodies in jesus name amen oh hallelujah hallelujah open our eyes that's our cry this is what we're talking about we know the scripture we read it ever since we were born in christian families ever since you were a child you have heard isaiah 53 ye manam christ okutu manam puttinadu modalu koni tiri janminchadu modalu koni yesha 53 manam chaduvutunna manaku telusu but it's not making a difference kaani teda kalugu cheyaledu adi there's a problem ide samasya because we're not listening to the word intentionally vaakyalu uddeshapurvakamga vinaledu and we haven't let the light in the word shine in our hearts vaakyamloni velutunu mana hrudayalanu prakashinchaan kanumatinchaledu that chapter is like any chapter in another book adi migilina pustakalo unna oka grandham laagane untunadi adi information, information, information samacharamu you have knowledge gnanam undi but it's not of any value kaani ye viluva ledu but once that knowledge oka sari aa gnanamu that you have received and then information meer pondukunna samacharamu shine in your heart me hrudayamlo prakashinchinaa then the power is released appudu shakti vidudalavutundi that's when you begin to experience the miraculous appude meer adbhutalanu anubhavinchagalaru say amen amen hallelujah hallelujah matthew chapter 8 verse 17 mata 8 17 himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses aayine mana vyadhulanu barinchukuntunnadu anarogyam barinchadu 
himself took our infirmities and bear our sickness ayine na anarogyamulu bharinchu untunadu ala gathakramulu visikesadu amen thank you lord he took our infirmities mana atikramam aina teesi vesadu i don't know i've shared this testimony before idi varaki sakshana panchukunnanu i want to do it again to just to strengthen your faith mee vishwasana balapachana marla telichestanu i was going through a very painful situation ento baadhakaramaina paristhiti undi nenu velladu na sharirama i never shared it with anyone in the church except my wife sangam le evartho panchukoledu pastor garu thappa and i i and i was praying nenu prarthisthunna sometimes the pain was so excruciating oka sari aa baadha entha ekkuvindi i roll on the bed and cry padakam meedu dorlutu yechanu loudly sob nenu entha vanna because it was so bad entha barinchu during that time aa samayamlo i was confessing the word vakyanu oppukol chestunna i was praying prarthisthunna i was thanking the lord and using all different scriptures i knew naaku telisina lekhana I remember something. Or gnapam uchkondi. When you are facing such situation, atondi paristhithi meedu edukuntunaru. Sometimes it takes a longer time longer than an hour to fight this. Konni saaru poraadaniki ganta ganta minchi padutundi. Sometimes it's almost a week. Konni saaru varam padutundi. Sometimes it's longer. Konni saaru inka ekku padutundi. We should not give up because the truth never changes. Kaani manam vidichi pettakudu endukosam ala satyam enado maaradu. The truth is I am healed. Satyam enado swasthata pondi unnanu. I'm missing it somewhere. Yekkaro sir tappikottunaru. I need a revelation to capture it. Aa pratyekshatha pondukodana kavali. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So while I was going through this, nen dinu kuda edurukuntunaru. One day I was traveling in the car. Oka rojuna car pranistunaru. From the office to our apartment. Office nunchi apartments kelthunaru. And I was sitting at the back opening uh, and I was flipping through the Bible. Nen venakalu kurchina bible nadu. I was reading through the scriptures. Lekhanalu chaduthunaru. And I my eyes fell on this scripture. Na drushti ee lekhana meeda padadi. Matthew 8:17. Matthew 8:17. He took our infirmities. Aa yena vyasana parichunaru. Something grabbed me on the inside. Adi chadi అప్పుడు నా అంతరంగం ఏదో ఒకటి పొందుకున్నది దట్స్ వాట్ ఐ యామ్ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ దాని గురించి నేను మాట్లాడుతున్నాను ఐ రెడ్ దట్ మెనీ టైమ్స్ బిఫోర్ ఇది వరకు అనేక సార్లు బోధించినది దట్ మోమెంట్ కానీ ఆ క్షణంలో సంథింగ్ హాపెన్ ఏదో ఒకటి అయింది గ్రాబ్ మీ నన్ను పట్టుకున్నది అండ్ ఐ వాస్ సో ఎక్సైటెడ్ ఎంతో ఆశ కలిగి ఉన్నాను వెన్ ఐ వెంట్ హోమ్ ఐ సెడ్ లార్డ్ ఇంటికి వెళ్లి దేవా యు టుక్ దట్ మీరు దాన్ని తీసి వేసుకుంటే ఐ డోంట్ హావ్ టు టేక్ ఇట్ ఎనీ మోర్ నేను తీసుకోవాల్సిన అవసరం లేదు ఇక్కడ ఫ్రీ ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ దీని నుంచి నేను విడుదల పొందుతున్నాను అండ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఐ యామ్ టెల్లింగ్ యు టు ఆనెస్ట్లీ నిజాయితీగా చెప్తున్నానండి దట్ వాస్ ది ఎండ్ ఆన్ దట్ డే ఆ రోజునే అది ముగింపు హల్లెలూయా హల్లెలూయా టుక్ our infirmities and bear our sicknesses unnadu aina mana vyadhulu barinchu unnadu don't lose hope if you don't see results immediately ventane phalithalu chudanantha maatra na nimbhu kondukondi bible cheptundi you possess things or the promises of god meer devuni vaagdhanam ni swatantrinchukunde vishwasam dwara and come on and see Work it is during that time of patience aa work samayam loni is when your faith is being tested mee vishwasam parikshinchabadedi do you really believe that god's word is true devuni vakyam satyamani nijamuga namuthunara and your faith is being tested by the enemy mee vishwasam apavad dwara shodinchabadutundi say amen amen 1 peter 2:24 says multi peter 2:24 antundi by whose stripes you were healed evari gaayam dwara meer swasthata pondiyunnaru by whose stripes you were healed meeru swasthata pondinaru i was healed i was healed said laro i was healed by his stripes said again i was healed come on convince yourself come on convince yourself convince yourself convince yourself come on i was healed by his stripes i was healed by his stripes i was healed by his stripes aina pondina debbal chedina swasthata pondindi tini Now you listen to all this and you say okay I, i i understand i believe all this but i don't think god will heal me meeru idantha vinna tarvata kuda avunni nammutunnana adantha manchide gaani nijanga devu swastha parichara ani kodutunna adi chaala i'm a rotten sinner nin paapinandi hey listen are you born again meeru tirigi janminchara how can you be born again and also be a sinner ela tirigi janminchara paapiga meeru i'm not saying you might not have missed the mark meeru tappipoyo tappipole you cannot have the spirit of god and the spirit of the devil at the same time okate sari devuni aatmanu apavadi aatmanu meeru kalugundi the spirit of life and spirit of death cannot cohabit aatmika jeevamnu apavadini meeru kalugundi we do falter మనం పడిపోవచ్చు దట్స్ వై వి గాట్ 1 జాన్ 1:9 అందుకోసం నేను మొదటి యోహాను 1:9 తెలుసు our sins is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness మన పాపం మనం ఒప్పుకొని ఇదే లాయన నమ్మదగిన వాడిని తిరుగు గనక ఆయన మన పాపం క్షమించి సమస్త దుర్నీతి నుంచి విడిపించును and bask in sin మీరు పాపములో ఉన్నారు అండ్ కంటిన్యూ టు ఐ యామ్ ఎ సిన్నర్ నేను పాపిని అంటు అండ్ then you know just because and just come to church మీరు సంగానికి వచ్చి If you know there is a wall between you and God Meeku devuniki madhyalo addu goda unnadu antha chestunnaru Get rid of it through confession Oppukolu dwara baitaku randi Hallelujah don't live under the oppression of guilt Aa dosha aropana manasattham tho jeevichandi As long as you're guilty Meer dosha aropana kaligunta kaligunta Never have confidence that God is hearkening to your prayer Devuni mee prarthana In fact the Bible says in Isaiah that the wall that the sins have become a wall between God and us and is not short of hearing Say 
Jesus. So I'm going to take you to a scripture to show you that God qualifies you. Hallelujah. See, we're always thinking, do I really deserve this? Am I good enough? Will God, will God heal me? Let's go to Colossians chapter 1, please. Colossians chapter 1, verse 12. Giving thanks unto the Father, which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. Giving thanks to the Father which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance. The Father has made us able to become partakers of the inheritance of the saints. What's happening guys? Jesus qualifies us to partake in the inheritance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To me, that was like great news. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is not dependent on me. It is dependent on Him. That does not mean I can live a sinful life. I need to live a a blemishless life. That means I need to live a guilt-free life. Where my conscience is not pricking me. That's when I have confidence in His presence. I can never earn the right to possess my inheritance. It is God who has to qualify you to become a partaker of the inheritance. And the Bible tells us over here that the Father has qualified us. Oh, praise God. The enemy may discourage us in many ways by suggesting that you're not good enough and what makes you think that the Lord will heal you. Don't you know how wretched you are? But praise God, He has made us able to partake. You are an able partaker of the inheritance. That means I have a right to the inheritance of healing in my body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't let the world influence your thinking. One thing I want to keep telling people. No matter what the experiences in life are, have, have been for others. If they don't line up with the word of God, they don't become scripture to us. Just because a godly man died of a certain sickness does not mean that it is God's will to kill people through sickness. God's will is he wants to heal everybody. But pastor I am old. So you don't have to die of sickness. If it is time for you to leave, leave but don't let Sickness take you out. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You're not supposed to die like that. Um, there was a man of God by the name of F.F. Bosworth. F.F. Bosworth and it broke a division. Bosworth. Who was a great healing evangelist or a pastor. Swastata, I don't remember that. He was greatly used of the Lord. When it came time for him to depart, he was not sick. But he told his family that this was the day he had to leave. And he left. He didn't die of sickness. Isn't that awesome? That is a privilege given to all of us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What does that tell me? That tells me that even if you're diagnosed with a terminal sickness, if you have faith, you can terminate the terminal sickness. That terminal sickness is not terminal in your body. You can kick it out of your body. And when it is time to leave, you say, here am I, Lord, I'm coming up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let it not be that the sickness will decide when you die. So as long as we live, we need to live in divine health, enjoying the blessing of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 13 says, Verse 13 He has delivered us from the authority of darkness. He has delivered us from the authority of darkness. Amen. Look at this. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness 
and it translates into the kingdom of his dear son manalo andhakara sambandhamaina adhikaram nunchi vidudala chesi taanu preminchina thana kumaranu yokka rajya nivasulu ga chesanu the word power there is authority adhikaram ante shakti ani prabhu which means he has delivered us from the authority of darkness ante andhakaram yokka adhikaram nunchi manalu vidipinchadu sickness is under darkness vyadi anedi apavadi that means sickness does not have authority over your body ante anarogyam ee sharirameda adhikaram led anithamu jesus has set us free yesu manalu vidipinchadu and has delivered us from Man, that darkness andhakaram nunchi vidipinchadu kabatti delivered us or from the authority of that sickness ah anarogya adhikaram nunchi ana manu vidudala chesi untunadu so sickness rule over your life anarogya mee jeevithanni paripalinchadi bakandi he delivered us from the authority of darkness andhakara adhikaram nunchi vidipinchadu therefore kaabatti the devil cannot legally lord over you apavadi mee jeevithamila prabhutvam cheyaledu with sickness and oppression anarogya otiritho and verse 14 says but not what something in whom we have redemption through his blood aina kumara rakkam dwara manaku vimam mochana hallelujah hallelujah he has delivered us from the authority of darkness and sickness and oppression and the karam of papamu ava dan nunchi vidudala chesadu he has redeemed us through his blood ana rakam dwara vimochinchadu he has made us able to become partakers of this inheritance ee swasthyamlo patrulai irunda arhatani chadu so let's connect it to revelation chapter 12 prakatana 12th adhyayam ki manam anusandhanam cheddamu chapter 12 verse 11 says prakatana 12th adhyayam prakatana cheptundi they came him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony varu gorapilla rakam dwara varu sakshyam dwara varu jeevithini love not their lives unto death varu jeevithanni maraninchala gaane the blood of the lamb యేసు రక్తము is the basis for our victory మన విజయానికి మూలము హల్లెలూయా హల్లెలూయా the blood of jesus is the basis for our victory Ye- over sickness యేసు రక్తమే మనం అనారోగ్యం మీద అధికారం కలిగి ఉండడానికి మూలము jesus paid the price యేసు వెల్ల చెల్లించాడు we saw that in isaiah 53 యేషయ్యా 83 లో చూసాము now i'm showing you here ఇక్కడ చూపిస్తున్నాను that he has redeemed us through his blood ఆయన రక్తం ద్వారా మనం విడిపించాడు so is he has uh, 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 through the blood of jesus yesu raktham dwara we are declared victorious mana vijayavantulaga prakatinchabadamu to add to this our testimony or our confession mana sakshyanni mana oppukonnu kuda dinto jatha cheyali that means we have to confess what we believe ante manam nammina dani oppukonnu cheyali and not get tired alasi pokuradu every time we speak the word in faith vakyani vishwasam tho parikinappudalla we are using the sword of the spirit aatmaichu kadgamulu vaadutunnanu come on you have to see that picture meera chitrani chudali every time you are speaking to the sickness in your body mee sharirama anarogyam chustunna chitram prathi sari vakyani palukutunnaga you remind yourself it is the blood of jesus that has redeemed me yesu raktham enannu vidipinchani gnapakam cheskoni speaking it forth and using the sword of the spirit aatmaichu kadgamulu vaadutunnanani the bible says bible cheptundi let the redeemed of the lord Lord, say so vimochinchabadina vaaru cheppudru gaaka that means you have to declare it ante meer dani prakatinchali what you believe is what you have to declare meer nammina dani meer prakatinchali when you declare what you believe what you believe is then established meer nammina dani prakatinchinappudu appudu nammina dani nijarupam raalustundi you know some people think kontha mandu anukuntaru that our spirits belong to the lord mana aatmulu devuni chindayi but our bodies are not yet redeemed kaani mana shariralu vidipinchabadaledi ka we must suffer sickness and disease in this realm now kaabati ee lokamlo anarogyamlu vyadini bharinchali anukuntaru మీకు ఒక వార్త ఉంది 1 కొరింథియన్ చాప్టర్ 6 మొదటి కొరింథియన్ రాసిన పత్రిక 6వ అధ్యాయం మొదటి కొరింథియన్ 6 19 know you not that your body is the temple of the holy ghost which is in you which you have of god and you're not your own మీ దేహములు పరిశుద్ధాత్మ దేవుని ఆలయం ఉన్నాయని తెలియరా మీరు మీ వారు కాదే మాత్రము your body is what everybody what's a temple దేవాలయం అంటే ఏంటి a temple is something a building or whatever that houses the presence of god ఆలయము అంటే దేవుని సన్నిధిని కలిగి ఉండగలిగే ప్రదేశము my body is the temple of the holy ghost నా దేహము పరిశుద్ధాత్మ దేవుని ఆలయము your body is the temple of the holy ghost మీ శరీరం పరిశుద్ధాత్మ దేవుని ఆలయము your body is the temple of the holy ghost which is in you which you have of god మీలో పరిశుద్ధాత్మ దేవుని ఆలయము మీరు కలిగి ఉంటున్నారు for you are bought with a price విలువ పెట్టి కొనబడిన వారు మీరు are you listening వింటున్నారా అండి you are bought with a price విలువ పెట్టి మీరు కొనబడ్డారు therefore కాబట్టి glorify god in your body and in your spirit which are god మీ దేహముతోను ఆత్మతోను ఆయన మహిమపరుచుడి glorify god దేవుని not only in the spirit but దేవ... also in your body దేవుని ఆత్మతోనే కాదు మీ దేహముతో కూడా గణపరచాలి imagine this ఊహించండి does god get glory when you're sick and lying in the hospital icu unit మీను అనారోగ్యంతో ఉండి icu unit లో పడక మీద ఉంటున్నాగా దేవుడు మహిమపరచబడతాడా tubes coming out of your body మీ శరీరం అన్ని ట్యూబుల అనుసంధానమైనదిగా does god get glory దేవుడు మహిమ పొందుతాడా when does god get glory దేవుడు ఎప్పుడు మహిమ పొందుతాడు when you heal and whole స్వస్థత పొంది పరిపూర్ణంగా ఉన్నప్పుడు no pain no suffering ఏ అనారోగ్యము ఏ బాధ లేకుండా walk around in the strength of 
God. We celebrated just a moment ago about that dear lady who was healed and could walk without the aid of any walker or whatever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You did not walk in with a walker tonight. But maybe you have something else that is bugging you, harassing you, troubling you. I want you to know God wants to be glorified both in your spirit and in your body. It paid the price not only for your spirit but also for your body. By his stripes we were healed. Somebody say Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need to understand that we need to take a stand against the devil or the enemy when he attacks our bodies. And the way we do it is make we understand that we are partakers of the inheritance according to Colossians chapter 1 verse 12. And we have dominion and authority over all the devil through the blood of Jesus. Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. The devil does not have power over you. We have been granted authority over the devil. All power has been given unto me. Therefore go, he said. So I pray God will open the eyes of our understanding that this truth will be established in our hearts. And because of that truth, you will reject every form of sickness and harassment in your body. And you will walk out healed and made whole in Jesus name. Now remember there are many ways that healing is administered in the Bible. People were healed by the laying on of hands. People were healed by the speaking of the word. People were healed when the mantle is placed. People are healed when oil is applied. People are healed when, is healed when, are healed when elders pray with the anointing oil. Now, we're getting ready now to minister to you. And as the Lord leads us, we want to minister to you. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Now you don't have to come if God has already healed you. But go from here with the conviction and the knowing I am healed. Whether there's evidence on the outside or not is immaterial. We are the healed of the Lord. There was once a Baptist minister by the name P.C. Nelson. P.C. Nelson and Baptist Parishar And this was in the 1920s. And he met with an accident, an automobile accident. Where his left leg was um, injured. And when they took him to the doctors, the doctor said it has to be amputated, or if it's not, then the body, the, the leg will remain stiff for the rest of his life. He was, a, he was a believer in the word that God said that healing is our inheritance. And as he was lying in the bed that day, God reminded him of James chapter 4. Five, uh, 5 verses 14 and 15 where the Bible says is any sick among you let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord is any sick among you let him call for the elders of the church let them pray over him How? anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord and the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up and if you have committed sin they shall be forgiven okay so he was reminded of that and so he tried to excuse himself by saying Lord nobody in our church believes this because they were Baptists and God reminded him he said you is, and said, you have four spirit-filled friends. Call them. So he called them. And they came around and laid hands on him and anointed him with oil and prayed for him. He was completely healed without any amputation and did not have a stiff leg. See, these testimonies are to encourage our faith and to let you know that every testimony is a prophecy. 
సాక్ష్యాలను కూడా మన విశ్వాసాన్ని బలపరచడానికి ప్రతి సాక్ష్యం కూడా ప్రవచనం తెలియజేస్తుంది ప్రతి సాక్ష్యం కూడా ప్రవచనము ఇఫ్ గాడ్ హస్ డన్ ఇట్ దెన్ హిస్ ఓన్లీ టెలింగ్ యూ ఐ కెన్ డూ ఇట్ అగైన్ దేవుడు అప్పుడు చేసినట్లయితే ఆయన మనకు తెలియజేస్తున్నది మరల నేను చేయగలనని చెప్తున్నాడు ఇఫ్ యు ఓన్లీ బిలీవ్ ఇట్ మీరు అది నమ్మగలిగితే యు కెన్ రిసీవ్ ఇట్ పొందుకోగలరు హల్లెలూయా హల్లెలూయా యు నో and and you know another place of anoint, uh, anointing with oil is mark chapter 6 verse 13 and they cast out many devils and anointed oil, uh, with oil many that were sick and healed them mark adupa 13 lo untunadi anarogyam che baadinchabadutunna varini andarki nuni raachi varini baagu chesanu everything in the kingdom of god devuni rajyamlo pratidhi is received by faith vishwasam dwara pondukogalamu as the impotent man heard the word nadavaleni vyakti vakyam vinnapudu faith was ignited vishwasam viliginchapadadi and when paul spoke paul parikinapudu he didn't look back and say man don't you realize i was born a cripple tirigi chudalle chusi nenu puttukato pettivani teliyadani kanaledu have you forgotten how i was carried into the meeting marchi payavani ni kuduke ela teeskoni mooskoni vacharu what makes you think i can walk i can even i i never stood on these feet nee nadavagalanu ani cheppadaniki ee ippudu nadavadu nadu he did not let reasoning come in the way ee manasu anedi madhyalo rani varedu faith now had burst forth like an atomic energy vishwasam oka visphotana shakti vale upiki vachindi and caused him to forget his circumstances thana oka paristhithulu marchipoye laaga chesi and make him look like a fool very what laga that's when the miracle happened kaani appude adbhutamaindi so anything you receive in the kingdom of god devuni rajyam meer yedi pondukunna is not received on the basis of reason adi oka visleshana kaani pondukoleru based on analysis oka visleshana batti kuda meer pondukoleru dani the word we receive mana pondukune vakyam as it goes to the mind has to ignite something in your spirit manasu gunda velthunnada ga mana aathma veliginchali you to do something that will amaze everybody around mana chuttu unna vaani vibrantha chenniche reethiga chese laga Supposing you have been having a pain in your back. Meeku oka vela udaharanaku meeku velukunnadu. And people know you have it. Me kaliguna and you start spending that say no 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 don't do it be a slow. Vongutunnatlayite varu chettaru mundu mundu velagali. Don't what they are saying listen to your spirit. Varu cheppe dani vinakane gali mee aathma cheppe dani. Because God is speaking to you through your spirit. Devudu mee aathma dwara meeto maatladutunnadu. No no they are not evil people. Varu chedu vaktulu em kaadu. They 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 want good for you. Meeku melu kalagalane chustaru varu. Their caution can actually stifle what god wants to do in your life vaari jagratalu mee jeevithamlo devudu cheyalanu anukunna dani aaputunnadi amen amen hallelujah so you need to be sensitive in the spirit meer aatmalo churukunda sunithanga undali vishwasam dwara remember what happened with the women with the issue of blood ratha swam kaliga sthito emaina chupnapam chestunna when she was healed ame swasthata pandina appudu jesus turned around and said who he who, who touched me yesu thiri adigadu evarana evarana vasthanni muttindi and then she expressed herself ame thanu vyakta pachukundi and the lord sent to her and said that daughter thy faith is made the whole kumari ni vishwasam ni swastha parichanam telichesaru what em baagu chesindi ni vishwasame the story tells us aa katha manaku telichesindi that she heard ame vinnadi when you hear something has to be inspired vinnapudu mee lopala edho okati prerepinchabadali when you hear something has to happen vinnapudu edho okati mee lopala jaragali what did the disciples say sishulu em annaru did not our hearts burn when he spoke vaaru palikinapudu maa hrudayalu ragalaleda if you are into ministry meer paricharyalo unnatlaite anybody any level of ministry ye rakamaina paricharya chestunna kuda this is where prayer plays a very important role ikkade prarthana pramukhyamaina paatra poshistundi it is not your vocabulary mee yokka pada jalam kaadu it is not your oratory mee yokka vakyam mee yokka talantulu kaadu idi shakti it is the anointing abhishekamu and when we speak manam parikinappudu the words may sound foolish aa padalu veriga anipichachemu the impact cannot be denied kaani prabhavitam nirakarinchaleru people may not come to listen to the vocabulary prajalu pada jalani vinaga okochu leda manchi anda pamma maatladaniki or manchi anda pamma maatladaniki skills leda mi oka maat vaachaturiyani dani varu because power is being demonstrated shakti kanapadutunnadi kaabatti varu ikkada pariyitu ostaru amen so thy faith has made thee whole nee vishwasam nenu swasthaparchanu ee ratri your faith is going to make you whole mee vishwasam mana swasthaparchabothunnadi hallelujah hallelujah are you ready siddhangunara now couple of things i want to do number 1 there are several things you must be led by the spirit to do these ee rakamaina vishayal cheyadaniki aatma dwara nadipinchadali first and foremost because we want to minister to you meeku parichayam cheyala kapadu munduga you heard the word vakyam vinnaru let's seal the word with a seed that we sow vakyanni vittinaadu vakyanni manam vittinaadu or you bless tonight divinchabadarandi then i will give instructions as to what we will do and how we will go forward manam em chestam ee rakamaina seed ni kapadu chestam mee cheyidiloku vittinam teeskonandi thank the lord for your healing mee swasthana padi devudu kutta telichindi that seals the healing in your body mee shariramlo swasthatanu mudrikarinchatundi vitanamga dinu unchanevandi thank you jesus
Come on. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Come on. Don't, don't just sit there. Come on. Pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. You we must be a people that know how to pray every moment. Come on. Everybody, come on. Pray, pray, pray. We are praying for healings. We are praying for deliverances. We are praying for mighty breakthroughs tonight. I'm the only guy praying, it looks like. Rebalonda brakata masua. Come on. It should be like an ocean roaring. Come on. Waves of the ocean. Waves blowing. Come on. Lidamanda da 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 da. Lebroklanda kero koko kosi kaha. Lidananda re ba 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 ba. Labragalamonda kero kais kolosh telemesia. Lebralabrakata ra ba 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 ba. Holy Ghost, thank you, Lord. Father, tonight, lift lift up that seat. Lift up that seat. Father, tonight we want to thank you for the word of God, Lord, regarding our healing. And tonight as we sow this seed, we seal that word in our hearts. We declare that we are the healed of the Lord. We thank you, Father. In advance, we give thanks. By sowing our seed, we express our gratitude, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Now go ahead and sow that seed and worship, guys. Come on up, please. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Oh God, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God and we're going to minister but first if there's anyone here that has not made Jesus the Lord of your life every head bowed every eye closed please this is very important because this is the big the greatest miracle 
that can ever happen ennadaina jarigalige goppa adbhutham idey modataga if you have never received jesus into your heart yesu christu mee hrudayam lokku ennadaina never made him the lord of your life mee jeevithanni prabhu ga chesukoledu you know him from a distance duram nunchi maatrame meeku telusu whatever it is edaina kuda jesus wants you to become his child yesu tana bidda ga meer maaralu kodutunnaru maybe you said yes to jesus sometime back meer entho kaalam kadam yesu kaalam for some reason you walked away edo kaaranam apudu duram ayipoyaru guilty and disconnected dosha roopana kaligi duram ayipoyinattu ga unde i want to remind you you're not here by accident meek gnapakam chestunnaru meer adhuthu sadhana kaligi meer god has brought you here devuni aathma mali kaligi so you rededicate and recommit your life tirigi samarpinchukonnattu ga meek jeevithani so when do you here for the first time to commit your life me jeevithani modhi sari ga samarpinchukonnattu ga meek recommit your life leda tirigi samarpinchanukunnare mo i want you to quickly lift your right hand up so we can pray with you varaga meeku kudi cheyipaiki chinchani meeku samarpinchanu come on anybody there please lift your right hand up evaraina unnatlayithe dai chesi kudi cheyipaiki chinchani stand up wherever you are we want to minister to you first and then we want to minister to all the sick cheyipaiki thana varu dai chesi thwaraga lechina padina modhi ga meeku parichayam cheyalanu koruthunnaru evaraina unnarandi to god hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus all right well bless the lord okay we're going to go ahead <coughs> If you are here and also those on live stream Meeru ikkada untunnadachu lekapothe live stream dwara chustunnaru And you have a pain in the lower back going up Meeka vennu poosa chivari bhagamlo meeku nappi tho baadha pettunnaru Nenu oka chitram chustunnaru Where it's like kind of hardening on the right side it's I don't know how to explain it but it's causing pain Meeka kudi vaipu nedo beesu poyinattu ga untunnadi dan nappi kelutunnadu Anybody like that I wanted to quickly stand to your feet Aa rakamga unnatlayithe thwaraga lechina padina evaraina If you're watching us online you there Online dwara veekshisthunnatlayithe Please let us know signify put a hand or something that we know because you can be healed even though you're online Ee hand emoji ni chupistha maaku teliyacheyandi meer kuda swasthata pondagalaru online lo veekshisthunna All right If you're that please come to the front దాంతో మీరు బాధ పడుతున్నారు దయచేసి ముందుకు రండి ఐ వాంట్ యు టు కమ్ అండ్ స్టాండ్ అట్ ద రైట్ హ్యాండ్ ఐ వాంట్ మీకు వర్తించండి దయచేసి ముందుకు రండి నా కుడి వైపు నిలబడండి ఇట్స్ ద బ్యాక్ పోర్షన్ రైట్ ఫ్రమ్ హియర్ గోయింగ్ అప్ దిస్ వే రైట్ అప్ టు ద మిడిల్ సెక్షన్ మీక వెను భాగం వచ్చి కింద నుంచి పై వరకు సగం వరకు ఉంటున్నది అనుపి ఆల్ రైట్ జస్ట్ టు మై రైట్ టు మై రైట్ ఆల్ ద పీపుల్ విత్ ద బ్యాక్ ప్రాబ్లం ఐక వెను నొప్పి తెలియన వారందరూ దయచేసి కుడి వైపు నిలబడండి ఆర్థ్రైటిస్ కీళ్ళ నొప్పులతో బాధ పడుతుంది ఐ వాంట్ యు టు కమ్ అండ్ స్టాండ్ ఆన్ మై లెఫ్ట్ అండ్ ఐ వాంట్ ఆల్ ద పాస్టర్స్ టు కమ్ క్విక్లీ ఆన్ మై రైట్ on to the stage please very quickly yedamo vaipu nunchi nilabadani keela nopulto baadha padutunna vaaru dai chesi kudu yedamo vaipu nilabadani gnapakam munchukoni em cheppanu not everybody only this section is only for the back problem and i told you not the entire back exactly from the lower part going up this way and i think especially for someone who it is hardened over here andaru kaadani kevalamu veepu nopito kindi bhagamlo baadha padutunna varu adi bigusu poyinattu ga untadi anupito baadha padutunnaru atuvandi varu maatrame kudi vaipu nadandi but if it's arthritis in your body i want you to come to my left mee shariramlo kila nopulto baadha padutunna baadha padutunna varu idamo vaipu nadandi come and help me in anointing and praying for them please kila nopulto baadha padutunna varu idamo vaipu nadandi dai chesi youth staff youth pastors please come on up please help us if there's more people okay now once we minister to these I also want to pray for all those that have any kinds of pains in their bodies. If you have any pain anywhere in your body, please stand up wherever you are. Meek parichari chesin tarvata mee shariramlo ye noppi tho baadha tho baadha padutunna kuda nilabadandi. It could be a stomach ache, it could be a headache that persists or you have a persistent stomach problem, it could be aches in your shoulders or some other part of your body no matter what. It's an aches and pains in your body please stand up. Kadupu nopi kavachu tanu nopi kavachu lekapothe mee yokka bujalu nopi kavachu edaina kuda daichesina padandi. I'm not expecting you to be ill tomorrow. Repo roju swasthapadamani nenu aashinchatledu. Once we 